Hey, it's Friday the 13th. It's not an unlucky day for Dawn DaCosta because she's here at EPI starting work on her print. Here's what it prints like. Mother, a mother with four children. Dawn's doing her separations right now. There's Dawn. Say hi, Dawn. Here's Jace. He's going to print her prints for her. And Candace is intern here at EPI. She's helping out. Hi, I'm Dawn DaCosta, and I'm here at the Experimental Print Institute at Lafayette College. And uh, first I want to thank Curly Moulton and Jace Clark and Candace for helping me learn this, well, as much as I could learn about this print process of being introduced to it. Um, I also want to thank Faith Ringgold and the Anglican anyway Black Foundation for this scholarship to come mm -hmm. here this weekend. And I want to thank Grace for coming with me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> on this fine. adventure. Thank you, Grace. Okay, so the first thing that I had to do was do a painting. Mm -hmm. And so I did a couple of different paintings that Grace had walked me through and told me how I needed to have very black colors, no gradations. Um, and how I needed to keep the amount of colors down. So I think it was four or five. Mm -hmm. So that was what happened first. And I showed this to Grace, and she said, okay, that this would be okay to go forward with. So then I took a picture of it, sent it to Grace, she sent it to Jace, and then I came and we started this separation of colors. Mm -hmm. um, so Jace had taken another, I guess, a digital image of the painting and put it on this paper because this would be the size of the print. Mm -hmm. So this is a little larger. So I had to separate the colors, taking one piece at, tape at a time and doing each color. So I did black, which would represent, black represents all the colors, mm -hmm. right? So just the one flat color and then I did what would be brown, and then what would be the lighter brown. Why don't you put the, um, like that light brown one on top of the digital print so they can see oh, how you right. can see okay. through and oh, okay. yeah. seeing what you're copying there. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So it would be, yes, yeah, just the light brown. So this painting with the ink on everything that would eventually just be the light brown. And then Jace will make a silk screen for the light brown, and that's just where the ink is going to come through, where you see the black. Right. And then the final step is the black, which would end up being only the black. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then Jace does his little magic with uh, making sure everything is lined up properly. And he gave me this little guide so when I was painting the ink, I could make sure that I knew what I was doing with each color, that this was just this color, and that this was the dark brown, the light brown, and then the black. He was ready for you. He was ready. To organize. <laughs> and the rest, so then what happened was he started making the screens mm -hmm. um, and blocking out what would be printed and what would not, mm -hmm. right? That process. So technical. Like, yeah. <laughs> we got like a little preview of it. of it. Yeah. Good screens. Okay. They're light sensitive, so put it back. So, like Grace was saying, you can use these screens over and over again. So this is one that's sprayed out right here. It has no emulsion in it. Mm -hmm. So this is how you can reuse it over and over again. So once it's all sprayed out, once we're done with your image, sprayed out, recoat it with emulsion, mm -hmm. ready to go again. So that's what the state is right here. So we're just going to lay your... You need the door closed? Nah. It, it, okay. It doesn't, it's, they're photosensitive, but I don't know if you've ever done like 35 millimeter or developing any kind of film or anything. Oh, like in that. a dark room, you mean? It's, yeah. Okay. So it's not nearly as sensitive as oh, that. Oh, okay. okay. Um, you know, photo paper and stuff, if it gets even a bit, a bit of light on it, it's, it's yeah, really, yeah. where this, you know, coat screens with the door cracked and stuff. Um, I mean, it's really UV light that's the, the enemy. Okay. So, right now I'm just 
just uh, kind of smoothing this out to get a nice flat impression. Mm -hmm. To get it all registered together and stuff, so you don't want like a, a bump or something in there, right. which would affect you know the shape and everything. Okay. I'm hoping I can fit both of these onto a screen. Are they gonna fit? Mm -hmm. So, and you know, when I print, you know, I'll print this one first, so I'll have this facing towards me, I'll print this one, I'll have this one kind of masked off, and we'll spin the screen around, mm -hmm. and I'll print the next color. Oh, I see. So, it's just the, you know, it saves on cleanup and yeah, everything yeah. else, just to have to kind of spray out on the screen. Right. Okay, so then, you know, what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of like centering it on here. I know I need a, you know, a good enough margin because we have that squeegee bar that comes down to the same oh. Across here. Okay. So I'm determining kind of like distances and stuff to put it on here. Mm -hmm. So it looks good like that. So this all comes down. Now this is a, a vacuum bed. Mm -hmm. So it locks in place. And then what it does is it sucks all the air out of here. Oh, I see. So then it does a super flush, you know, your image against the screen so it's mm -hmm. nice and crisp. Uh -huh. um, now if you would just expose it just regular, you know, money. The edges and all that kind of stuff. So, this is the, the ideal way to do screens like this. So, so yeah, so then it sucks the air out for about a minute, and then you can actually see it once it once it turns on. This is the UV light down here. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can, oh, I see that. Yeah. So then it'll beam up, and like oh. I said before, everywhere you know the, the baby oil paper, the light will go through there. Uh huh. All the green and stuff, and what it's actually doing is like curing the, the emulsion. So, I mean, obviously it's dry, but yeah. this is kind of like, you know, making it solid, not water soluble anymore. So, then when you put the ink on it, it's gonna only go on. Yeah, how is, so but how is that? How yeah. does it not, I mean, how does it not go everywhere? Yeah, yeah see, go. you'll see it. So, so that, that green is like a stencil. Ah. And where the, where the black image is, we're gonna be able to take the sick and spray out. Because where the UV light's hitting, it's curing, hardening the emulsion. But where the black is, it's keeping it soft and uncured. Mm. So then that'll stay water soluble. So when we take it to the sink, that'll oh. spray it out. You have your, your nice stencil in. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to kind of burn in there. Yeah. Now this is where we're sort of we're battling the light a little bit because we're out in the the sunlight, and technically these parts can get hard and see when it's water up right away. Oh. So this is rinsing out what needs to go. Yeah, now this, this is, so now as you can see, like the stuff where the black uh -huh. was is soft, and I'll just kind of like, you know, get it started with my hand. Mm -hmm. So you can see where the ink's going to come through, Dawn, where yeah. it's light. So I'm going to get both sides. Making a silk screen. Making a silk screen. Which <laughs> is amazing. Amazing. And so different from the original. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Don. Thank you.